is nothing we can do about it because people destroy this country. They have names, they are driving cars, they register the cars, they are living in mansions on our back. And we are here saying, don't talk about them. I'm sorry. It's a rule of the debate, sir. We have to talk about if them. If you are part of this debate, you have to we keep have to the keep rule of the debate. About them. I'm afraid. You have to keep the rule of the debate. The rules, That's the rules the of the rule, debate. The rules cannot preclude yes. us talking it about got it. got heated. The, rules, the, 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 rules, the focus of this debate is corruption and how to ensure accountability on the part of public officials. How the political parties represented here assess its impact on development and what strategies they have in place to tackle it if they come into power. Anything for the boys. After a brief documentary on its endemic nature in Nigeria called Anything for the Boys, the candidates here got the chance to reel out their plans against corruption. The third level of our own intervention is of course consequences. The problem with Nigeria and fighting corruption is that we do not deliver consequences on corrupt people. There has to be a deliberate, conscious effort to conscientize and mobilize Nigerians to own their country. If anything was going to solve corruption in this country, technology is going to be very, very central. Like we say, technology doesn't lie. Mathematics doesn't lie. It's when human beings interfere that they begin to do all sorts of things. Do you consider these? The interactive session with the audience was next, and the contestants gave their final words on the issue of corruption. A notable point during the debate was the absence of the All Progressive Congress candidate or representative, and some audience members told us how they felt about that. The APC missed an important opportunity to show that it's a party committed to the fight against corruption. If you ask them one of their, what their achievements really are, they will put corruption as number one on the table. Being absent after more than one month notice. It is unfortunate that they missed that opportunity to actually speak to the people using this uh, platform. Political parties across board have committed to an issue-based campaign. However, did the candidates at this debate speak to the issues? Where they were a bit weak was when the final question was asked on so much corruption in party primaries. All of them tried to wiggle out of the question. The inability of the, uh, of the parties to actually zero down to the nitty gritty of what the issues are. Yeah, they tried within their limited capacity and within the time available. So these are things that we need to do better in terms of creating more room for uh, the candidates and the party to speak uh, for a longer period on the issue. Well, there you have it. The big debate, corruption and accountability. The choice now falls on the voter. Were your questions answered the way you wanted them to be answered? Will these candidates be able to deliver the promises that you need to grow your country? That will be determined when the 2019 elections come to a close. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.